What's up guys, it's Mike from Jersey Connect and in today's video I'm going to personally share how I wash my NBA jerseys. I understand everyone washes their jersey a particular way, so there isn't any right or wrong, but this is just my personal way of washing jerseys, especially working very closely with them. At 13 and 14, I ruined jerseys just because I was really lazy and I didn't really care how I washed them. So as I got older, these are just things that I've consistently been doing to just preserve the longevity of the jersey. In today's video, we're gonna go wash one of these, a LeBron James Nike Swingman jersey. And if you guys find this video helpful, drop us a like, hit subscribe, and we also have a notification bell just so you don't miss out when we drop new content. Let's go on to this video. The first thing I like to do with the jersey is flip it inside out. So, all the stink and all the must is gonna be in the inside of the jersey because you wear it, it touches your skin but also the wash cycle will be less abrasive on the, the actual like heat press portion or if it's stitched. Um, so you're just kind of trying to minimize anything going wrong in the wash. I usually wash the jerseys by itself just so I minimize anything ruining it. So like if you put some jeans or something like colors with Velcro, it can like snag the jersey and then you get a ruined jersey. So I usually just wash it by itself. Just put it right in, close it up. Detergent, you're gonna put soap. No matter what soap you use, go ahead and throw it in. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I put it on delicate, and so with the delicate, I make sure it's on cold temperature. Heat, I mean, just think about heat. Heat can probably be a lot more abrasive and cause more wear and tear on clothing items in general, so I keep it on a low temperature, like cold. Then I hit start. And that's it. All right, so it just finished up. It did get flipped inside out, and it does happen. So it's never gonna always stay inside out. So after a wash cycle, I almost never put the jerseys in a dryer. Some people do, they usually put it on like low heat on a tumble dryer, something really delicate. I never do. I kind of want to just make sure I preserve it and make sure it stays alive a long time. So I just hang dry it. So hang it up, boom, and that's pretty much it. After leaving it out for a couple hours in open air just to hang dry, Three hours to be exact, it's completely dry and you didn't have to run it through the dryer. Avoiding the dryer is just one easy way to help with the longevity of your jersey. It'll create less wear and tear. Air drying is so much easier, like no damage to the jersey. You have to wait a little longer compared to like putting it in a dryer, but you're looking at the longevity. You're looking at the long run. You wanna keep these jerseys looking nice for the longest time as possible. One quick side note, if you guys get stains on the jersey, like little sauce marks or things like that, these Tide to Go pens, super helpful. Basically, it has a solution, you press it down, it lets the solution get on the shirt or jersey, and you scrub it, you use it like a pen, and these things take out stains pretty nicely. The longer you keep the stain on and not take care of it, the harder it will be to take it off. So if you want your jersey looking nice for a long time, Definitely take care of those things ASAP, especially for like greasy stains, sauce stains, you know, any type of stain. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions about anything, throw it in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. All right, see ya.